What's up, you guys? All right, it is now Wednesday, um, about 10.40, 10.50, something like that. 10.45, 10.50. Um, it's actually the 30th of November. I've been up for probably about an hour and a half now. Uh, I was upstairs putting all my clothes up. I did laundry last night. I haven't seen you guys in a few days. Zeta's acting crazy. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's crazy. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So I haven't seen you guys in a few days. I've actually filmed quite a bit of clips throughout like the last like week and a half. Just really haven't had time to like sit down and put them like together to upload. My fault. So, with that being said, I'm about to get back on my YouTube game. Really want to. I was watching a video of Christian Guzman yesterday and he was saying, you know, you have to He's always staying. He's always saying, "Stay consistent," and he said he looked back, you know, five years ago, like when he first started YouTube, and he was like, you know, he was first year, he was just sitting here and he was going like this, and then all of a sudden it kind of went up a little bit, and you don't really see it within those like first two years, home from college, and he was like seventy percent of the way there, and uh, basically just like long story short, ran out of gas, called his mom and dad, was like, "Hey, I need some money." and the online like transfers were down so they couldn't transfer money so he had to wait like four hours there well there was a pawn shop right next to the gas station finally the money went through he got home scrounged up everything he had and that he didn't want like and tried to go sell it to that pawn shop he ended up getting a ticket on the way home and that's why he went and pawned everything and uh made enough money pawning everything to sell that ticket and that's when he made a promise to himself that, hey, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to live broke. And basically, it's all about the grind. And so, with that being said, I know this is like an, open, an opening long clip. Uh, but, uh, kind of feeling that right now. Uh, you know, money's really tight for everyone right now. Uh, work's been super slow for me. I've been praying a lot here lately, trying to get everything, you know, I haven't been praying as much as I should, but I've been praying a lot. And, you know, I want this clothing line. I've had job opportunities. Not really job opportunities, but, like, more so a job opportunity come up where I would have to move to, like, Midland, Texas. And I just, I don't feel like that's what my calling is to do. So, didn't really take up on that offer. I need the money. The money would be awesome. But, you know, I don't want to chase that like that's not the way i want to live my life every single day wake up and be like man i hate my life i hate my job should i even be here like i want to be back home i want to be chasing my goals and chasing my dreams of you know the clothing line and like who knows who knows really like i'm trying to see like zeta look like she was eating the carpet but uh who knows you know like what the future holds and if you know what you want to do in your future go after it so with that being said i know this is like a motivational long opening clip but we're about to get the day started i'm about to go eat actually i'm gonna feed zeta and then we're going to eat and then we're going to the gym have to work this evening so we're gonna get some stuff done Alright, so normally I go to Chick fil A, but for, the, for my breakfast. But today they were finished serving breakfast. It's 11 25. So a cinnamon roll. I'm not doing legs today, I'm doing shoulders. So I killed this cinnamon roll. I got this little concoction of like Sprite, but like I pour like a little bit of Fanta on top. So it's like all Sprite with just a, a Fanta. 
strawberry Fanta. Tastes really good. So I'm about to kill this. All right, so just finished that cinnamon roll. Sounded like a good idea at the time. I don't know. But I'm about to head to the gym. Get a good shoulder workout in. Just not feeling it. It's probably because I ate a cinnamon roll. Thanks a lot, cinnamon roll. Oh well. All right, you guys. So like, here are these past few weeks and months since like I haven't really put up like any workouts on my YouTube channel. Uh, I just been thinking. I'm like, man, like this is kind of what my channel is based off of is lifestyle and fitness. So you guys comment below like if you enjoy the workout videos or if you enjoy. And even just if you enjoy like the commentary or you enjoy the edits on the workout videos or not even do the workout videos or do them every once in a while and then do something else. I don't know. Just comment below uh, whatever you think. Um, we're about to get into a workout. I just kind of had like a debate with myself walking into the gym. I was like, dang, should I video? Should I not video? And we're going to video. So I'm about to hit shoulders. You guys come over with me. All right, you guys, coming at you uh, with the voice commentary. Uh, I'm actually doing this from my phone. I did it the first time on the computer, and it just didn't record. So uh, we started out the workout. We did a shoulder press today. And as you can see, I started out on the Smith machine with a 45 on each side. Um, I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys about the workout and just a little bit about what's kind of going on while I've been at the gym uh, working out these past few weeks. Um, basically, you know, I'm not in prep right now. I'm not working out to be on stage or anything like that. So, uh, I'm just kind of just trying to maintain right now. And a lot of my focus has been towards business. A lot of my focus has been towards, you know, the clothing line and recreate royalty. Um, I'm actually, you know, going through a few other personal changes right now uh not just the breakup with kenzie and myself but um some work related situations uh that just happened tonight as i'm editing this video uh but we'll talk about that in another video but anyways back to the workout uh we did smith the machine uh shoulder press um the first set i did in front of my face as you can see because the camera was flipped around and then um, this one I did behind my head. I normally do a 25 on each side just so I can feel the squeeze in my, my back delts. But I did, a, I did two sets behind the head and then I did ended up doing three sets in front of my face like you see right now. And uh, yeah, it was, I mean, it was a pretty good workout. Then uh, shout out to my boy Blake, people's in the background there, uh, getting that... Uh, chest squeeze in on the uh, cables back there shout out Blake uh, I did 65 pound dumbbells um, shoulder press on this one uh, like I said I'm not really lifting too heavy and I'm not trying to lift too light so I'm just trying to to maintain it you know and uh, this again was 65 pound dumbbells I couldn't get my feet set <laughs> and actually did uh, three sets of I want to say six or six to seven and I just I was feeling it burning my shoulders you guys I just really wasn't feeling the workout because uh, I at, as of this point right here when I was doing the shoulder flies like I was getting snapchats I was getting text messages I was having to return emails and honestly in the gym like you really don't need your phone on you but all of my music's on my phone so it is what it is but uh I had to return all that stuff, and it was just like, I ended up finishing with uh, front raises, which this was the second set of the flies, 
just a different angle on the camera. And then we jumped over to front raises right here, did three sets of front raises, just kind of gave you guys a different camera angle, moved around a little bit, I uh, did three sets of this, and that was pretty much it. So I want to thank you guys for watching this uh, part of the workout video. If you like the commentary, please comment below. Um, if you would rather see, you know, a cool edit, I personally like doing edits, but in this one, I just felt like doing commentary. So here we go with the rest of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. So, um, just finished at the gym, um, and I'm actually about to head to my t-shirt place and pick up the three separate colors of the long sleeve t-shirt we have. Um, and go downtown and we're going to film a little bit of footage down there. Um, I kind of have a concept about a video for a pop shop that we really want to open, uh, sometime in December. Um, just been kind of tampering with the idea of either releasing fully on the website, uh, in December before Christmas or doing some kind of pop shop doing a couple of events that we can go set like clothing up at and people can just pay cash for the clothing and then that way you know we actually will advertise for the website launch date of, of January 2017 and I just think for tax purposes for all purposes you know uh, we just hit the ground running 2017 uh, not really mess with the website right now the website is out right now but it only has hats on it so uh, we're about to take those off and we're about to revamp have more hats out we're actually coming out with several styles of t-shirts several colors uh, different color schemes for guys and girls we got tights coming we got joggers coming and that just kind of gives me time to to get everything in place um, the joggers and the tights we're still waiting on those so I don't know if they're actually gonna be out in December I, I would love for them to but I mean, we're kind of in a waiting process right now with shipping and, you know, I ordered them right before Thanksgiving and, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. So, I mean, shipping is just real ridiculous right now. So, with that being said, um, we're about to head downtown. I got to go home first, um, pick up a few Recreate Royalty items that I already have printed. Um, and then I got to go to the print shop, pick up the rest of it, and then we're heading downtown and we're going to film some footage. So, here we go. This is a day in a life, a full day of Jacob and Recreate Royalty and working out. It gets hectic. I feel like I'm bouncing the camera because my arm's like resting like right here. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys in a minute. Alright you guys, so currently I am sitting in McDonald's parking lot. Yeah. Um, I just needed a quick bite to eat. Actually, while I was at the gym earlier, I will throw this out there. Talking about McDonald's, um, I've been eating out like a lot lately, and eating out is like one very bad for you. Um, I'm wanting to get back on track with eating clean and doing the right thing, and it's just hard, but like if you sit down and you literally think about it, I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, Brianna Johnson. Shout out, there you go. Um, recently, you know, we, me and her, her and I, uh, we hung out a little over a year ago, year and a half ago, or something like that. Fucking amazing girl, like she actually competed earlier this year, um, but I. Uh, we hung out again the other night, and I I didn't realize, like, how much we made each other laugh. Like, it's always good to have, like, that somebody there that can, like, literally fucking laugh at everything you do with each other. And I can be myself around her, so that's really cool. So, it's that's rare to find, and thank you, Brianna, for shining that light back onto my life of me being able to laugh and smile. It's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, so I was talking, and we were texting earlier, she's at work, I was texting her at the gym, and we just got to talking about, like, macro dieting, and, uh, 
she mentioned a few like meal prep companies that I should look into. And she was like, I think I'm going to start. She's like, she basically said that she was spending $75 a week on eating out. And I sat down and I was like, holy crap, I wonder how much I'm paying to eat out. So I, I spend a lot of money eating out. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe not. But just like she was saying, she's about to start ordering her meals from this one company. And I was, I was just like, man, like if I'm spending this much money, why don't I put it towards meal prepping that I don't have to cook, but I buy it from a company. If I'm already spending say a hundred dollars a week, why not put that hundred dollars towards another, like somebody to make my food for me that is healthy and I can just fit it in like macros and work on a macro diet, which I really want to start doing. I want to try it out. I want to do something with, uh, with, uh, macro dieting and everything. But, uh, yeah. So we talked about that, her and I, and you know, she was giving me some pointers on that. Cause she said that she used to macro diet and then she did the diet where you eat grilled chicken, broccoli and rice all freaking day, like six meals a day. And it sucks. I will say that it does suck. It's worth it. And you look great when you do it. And macro dieting isn't, Hey, well, I'm going to go eat a cheeseburger today. And that's all I'm eating because it fits in my macros. It doesn't work like that. So I understand that, but I do want to like look more into that and stop eating this shit right here. A fish sandwich from McDonald's. But I was in a hurry. I went to the print shop and got all of the clothing. Well, not all of it, but these are a few shirts we got printed. And I have the Recreate Royalty backpack over here. I just, my car is a mess. It's a mess. Um, but got all this stuff and I was headed downtown and I was going to do a photo, like a little video shoot um, today. But uh, Corey couldn't meet me to video some stuff. So I'm going to go. Uh, it's actually 2.24 right now. My phone is blowing up. I've been sitting here in the parking lot of McDonald's for a hot minute, but uh, I was eating in my car. I just didn't really feel comfortable eating in this McDonald's. They, there's just a lot of like, just people come up and ask you like for rides and money. And you know, normally like, you know, I try to help people out, but when like, I literally was sitting there for like five minutes and I heard literally two or three people come and not just ask me, but ask people around for money or a ride somewhere. I'm like, dude, I don't know you. Like, you you know, somebody said something about the welfare office, and I was like, man, you know, like, I'm well, sorry about that, but, I, you know, I can't give you a ride there. It's right down the street. Like, walk, bro. Like, if you really need to get there that bad, walk, dude. I don't know. That's just my rant about that. But um, I'm going to eat this sandwich, and then I'm going to go downtown. We're going downtown, and we're going to look at a few spots. Um, I have a video teaser in my mind that I want to talk to you guys about on the recurrent royalty channel uh, uh but yeah it's gonna be on the recurrent royalty channel I'll pr I'm, i might actually drop the video on my personal channel just because i think i have more viewers and more subscribers on my personal channel than the recreate royalty channel but i want to go look at some spots for some videos and do like a teaser because we are not going to drop the website in december like i said earlier we're going to drop it in january of 2017 we're going to set up uh, a booth at several locations. I haven't really set that in stone yet with anybody, so I'm not really going to say anything about that. Uh, but my goal is, is to set up a booth with the clothing we have available right now. And, I mean, we have long sleeve t-shirts, three separate colors. We got guys and girls t-shirts, uh, several colors, several color schemes. Um, we have Racerbacks for girls, uh, several color schemes. We have crop tops coming for girls, several color schemes. Um, I'm waiting on tights. I'm waiting on leggings. And uh, I'm waiting on the... Uh, we actually just bought some Capri, uh, like some three-quarter girls uh, tights, leggings. And then um, guys' joggers. So hopefully, you know, before Christmas we can have booth a few a few separate venues set up like you know just for marketing purposes saying hey this is what our product feels like this is you can try it on you can say hey i want this and we're also going to do pre-orders is what we're going to do and the pre-orders are basically 
if you see a shirt that you like, you see a style that you like, it's all going to be there for you to look at. Um, if you pre-order a shirt, you pay your money for that shirt right there at the event. We will get that shirt to you in mail between seven to ten business days. That's the goal. That is that's what's going to happen. Seven to ten days from the date you order that shirt pre-order. If we don't have your size available, if we have your size available, we'll make it. We'll, we'll sell it to you right there. Um, but these events during December are going to be cash only events, and I think it's going to be pretty cool to get the to get the brand and get the word out about the brand dropping in January on the website. Then obviously uh, 2017, we're going to hit a few shows. We're going to have a booth, actual like product out, and it's just going to be like ongoing like product, product, product. We're just going to keep coming out with designs. We're going to keep coming out with t-shirts and uh, by summertime tank tops and you know cutoffs and maybe board shorts um, for guys. So. With that being said, this is a long-ass clip. I'm sorry. I'm about to eat the rest of this cold fish sandwich now. Check all of these messages on my phone, and we'll see you guys downtown. All right, you guys. So we're downtown, and the sun is so bright. It's so bright. But uh, we're downtown, and I'm over here at the Heritage Plaza. Like, it's just this big... They kind of do events out here and everything. And funny story about this place, it's not really funny, but a little story about this place. Um, probably back in 2009, 2010, uh, me uh, and a few of my buddies, uh, I had I had Corey living at my house, not Corey Carey, but my other buddy Corey Phillips. I had um, my buddy Jeff Enoch living at the house, Dylan Kennedy living at the house, and Corey's little brother Christian Phillips. So there was like four dudes and then me. So there's five guys living in a two bedroom townhouse. Um, at the time I was going through a transition of, I had been let go from my one job, which I was doing internet marketing. And I just got into doing like, I, I really wanted to take pictures. And I was like, man, I could, I could go model, you know? And uh, me and Corey, we sat down on the computer and you know, that's kind of when the clothing line idea kind of came to my head and it had always been in my head but I didn't really know it was going to be called Recreate Royalty. Uh, so we sat on the computer up in my bedroom and worked on stuff and like club ideas, I'm sorry if I'm not rolling, but uh, club ideas, bar scenes, like restaurants, we just started coming up with all these crazy ideas and uh, one day I was like, dude, do y'all want to go out of town and take some pictures? <laughs> so we came to this spot down here and took some crazy ass pictures and so that, yeah it, we had no idea what we were doing but uh and some of them like we were in like a boy band it was it was quite comical but uh it was fun though it was it was a good time we we came down here and walked around for a good half a day and just took pictures of each other and it was it was just it was weird but it was fun and uh so you know i'm down i'm, I'm down here right now and i'm looking around uh this is actually the uh this is kind of what it looks like. So there's like events they hold here, like concerts and stuff like that. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It's got like this little walkway behind me. It kind of circles around the whole thing. And then there's like sponsorships on like the poles and on the brick, on the brick walls. But uh, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look around at a few spots. I know that there's a rooftop over that way. I want to take some pictures on. Uh, probably take some pictures in this just because of the story I just told you guys. But actually, there's a meaning behind taking pictures in this now with the clothing line. So, uh, pictures, uh, video, and that's pretty much it. You know, we're just gonna walk around downtown and do it. You know, just walk and chill and sightsee. It's a beautiful day outside. I mean, look at it, you guys. It's so freaking nice. So nice. Get outside, you guys. Get outside and have fun. I know it's kind of chilly, but it's fun. So obviously, um, somebody was very desperate for the wheels on this bicycle. It's still chained up. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> All right, you guys. So uh, behind me is actually a uh, Tyler Street right here, um, down this way, and. We're gonna get a, probably a lot of footage on this street. Um, it's kind of like one of the main streets in downtown Longview. Uh, they're actually building a new building like right over here. It's 
pretty cool. I don't know what that is. Um, it's just, you know, there's a lot of, like, history within, like, downtown Longview and, um, with Recreate Royalty being out of Longview, uh, based out of East Texas and in Longview, you know, that's where I'm from, that's, like, my roots. I figured, why not do a photo shoot in downtown Longview to start it off with? Why not do a video edit? And that's what we're actually going to film a little bit tomorrow. But uh, we're still working our way up to the roof. But I wanted to stop on Tyler Street and tell you guys, you know, man, there's, you know, it's just I'm real dark right now. But, uh, yeah, it's just Tyler Street. And it's, you know, there's a, there used to be a bar down there. And it was called uh, Willie G's. There was, uh, there's Gerald's down there. Um, actually, when I was doing internet marketing, we actually had four offices down there in some lofts. And it was actually, I mean, they were really cool because they had like an event down here called Alley Fest. And we would just hang out, you know, during the summertime for Alley Fest and it was like a music festival and arts festival. And since then, for the past two or three years, they really haven't done an Alley Fest. They haven't done a music festival. They haven't really done anything downtown. Um, so we have something in the works possibly um it's in my head right now haven't put anything on paper but i'd really like to do a small festival some of some sort i don't know so don't hold me on that um but you know just to kind of have something for the kids in east texas to do because there's just nothing for the youth and the younger generation because like i said when i was a kid we had alley fest and we had the alley hoops which was like three on three basketball we had volleyball we had the we had the alley run and then the bands that came in and played were like super super cool so here we are up top on the rooftop this is uh this is downtown longview Actually, we're going to head up one more level. This is actually four levels. It's kind of a half-ass level, but right over there, I'll show you. I'll show you the scenic route around. The wind's blowing super hard, and I don't know if you guys can hear me. Really need to get a microphone. But um, this alley, like back behind me, like right here, um, that's actually where I filmed part, or actually the ending to the lifestyle series. And I just kind of set my camera up on a little tripod and like found a box and like a little tripod and walked towards it. Actually, it was a trash can. That's what it was. It was a trash can, and I set my camera up on it and uh started walking like towards the camera at the end of the lifestyle video uh though actually this the lifestyle series like opening video that's what that was and if you want to go back and watch that it's on the channel and it actually says you know lifestyle series and it's like a two minute video so it's not that long this one's actually a lot longer but uh so that's like downtown longview we had we didn't really like go to a lot of places but i wanted to show you guys like this is downtown, this is Longview, this is where I'm from. Uh, a lot of history, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm saying uh, a lot, but I'm about to walk around some more. Probably won't get much footage, so we're gonna take a few more looks at a few more places, and then I gotta go home and get ready for work and lay the clothes out for tomorrow's video shoot. So, with that being said, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this video out right here. Uh, it wasn't a full day, but I feel like it was a lot more content than in, in different places than I normally shoot my videos at. And that's what I kind of promised you guys was I want to do something different. I, I want to do, I want to film videos in places that I don't normally film at, which is my car all the time. All the time I'm in my car. Sorry about that, you guys. But, uh, you know, if, if you if you have any questions, if you have anything that you want to know um, about where I'm from, anything like that, you know, my workout, um, lifestyle, like what I eat, like how I want to track my macro, anything like that, you guys. If you guys ever have a question, just please comment below. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys for, for believing in me. Thank you guys for believing in the brand of Recreate Royalty. We have some huge things coming. Uh, it takes time. I'm stressed out a lot here lately, but it's all for a good cause. I shouldn't be stressed because I'm too blessed to be stressed. 
And uh, I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really do. And uh, please keep believing in me. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep the prayers coming for everybody around me and myself. And we're going to make we're going to make this happen. So um, continue to watch my videos. If you like what you've seen in this video, if you like what you've seen in my previous videos on my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Um, like the videos if you do watch them and you do enjoy what you see. I mean, even if it's bits and pieces, please please hit that like button, that thumbs up, and uh, tell your friends about it. If you want to share anything, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Jacob underscore Recreate Royalty. Link in the bio and everything. Uh, but I just want to say thank you guys because without you guys, I wouldn't be doing all of this. I do enjoy videoing. I do enjoy vlogging. But without you guys like watching these videos, it's kind of not really pointless, but because it's always cool that you can go back and look at the videos and see things about it and everything, see see what your life was like years ago and whatnot. But uh, I do this for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say thank you again. I've said thank you a bunch, but I cannot stop thanking you guys. And we'll see you guys on the next episode, the next video. Peace. I can't